<laughs> Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Hopefully we get some more people to join us here soon. Hey, everybody. Come on in. All right. All right. 70 people. What's up? Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> you probably want to know what's going to go on. On in. So first of all, I want to just kick off by saying happy Mother's Day. How was your Mother's Day? Thank you. It was good. It was spent, um, actually, Avion's birthday was Mother's Day this year. She turned seven yesterday. So it was mainly just a huge birthday weekend. We had a great party on Saturday. And then just a little festivities yesterday. I love it. So Aviana is a Taurus. I'm a Taurus. Taurus gang all day. Big Taurus energy. All week I kicked it. And I will have no problem telling you guys right now, I am 42 and my knees feel like I am fucking 42. <laughs> <laughs> I had a Thank you guys for joining us. I love seeing you guys come on in, come on in. I have, I have to share you guys. I just met Sarah um, not too long ago and I feel like I have known her for years already. <laughs> and yes. um, I want to just set the tone by saying that this is a safe place. Of course, we want comments. We want you guys to vibe out with us. But we're going to have just a quick chat and share with you um, what's to come. So we've done an interview already that we will share in the next week where we get a little bit more in depth on uh, where Sarah is at in her co-parenting journey and just how empowered and bomb she is right now with how life is happening. Um, but there's some shit I saw. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, so, hashtag your favorite co-parenting coach is, um, I'll share with people that are coming in. I'm a co-parent. I also have a business around co-parenting. I've been through it. I get it. I understand it. And uh, one of the reasons why I connected with Sarah is because I feel like a lot of the ways that we saw her in season two, I saw in my young early self as I was becoming a co-parent. So um, what I've seen on social media is that Michael has a baby on the way. And I wanted to know from Sarah what her thoughts were about this and give her an opportunity to share. Um, looks like we're waiting on her camera to not be stuck no more. Any questions? Hello, Sarah. I miss you from the show. Yes, I'm from the same city. All right. Hey. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> How much did you hear? Or, or should I Nine times out of ten. Nine times out of ten. One of them kids knocked it off the wall. <laughs> Nine so, times out of ten. So what I was sharing was I saw on social media that Michael had a baby on the way. And I would love to know what your thoughts are about that. We've got questions. Of course, people are like, by who, Maria? Yeah, well, I haven't said anything about this yet. So okay. you got me there. Um, yes, I did see the social media announcement that Michael and Maria are expecting a baby. Yeah. Um, one of the things I will say about that is, yes, that is how I found out. Yep. Um, you know, Quickly diving into that, I shouldn't have found out on social media. I don't feel like I cause any problems. I'm a pretty cool person at this point, especially with, you know, the father of my kids. Yeah. Um, I definitely deserve that respect because you don't got to worry about shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yep. and with us already being pretty popular on social media, like you had to have known that was going to be like a huge thing. And I just feel like, you know, I have friends and family who are follow us as well. And, you know, I'm, I'm very caught off guard. And yep. um, I should have before others are saying it to Aviana or whatever. I should have been able to parent that situation first. And somebody just said uh, Maria from season two. Oh, my gosh, she's crazy. So it's a shock to me, honestly, because I know when you have another person involved in terms of the co-parenting thing, that she might not have even reached out to you herself to share with you. Like you'd think, based on what we saw, that she'd be pretty excited that now she's like a permanent part of his life and not want it to be, you know, just revealed over social media. Right. Um, yeah. You would, you would think that you would want to start on um, a respectful, good, good foot, you know, with 
the other mother of his kids, you know, and the fact that he has other siblings. And, and if it were me in her situation, I would, if I were to, you know, add a kid to his already existing family of two kids, I would want all my kids to, to get along. I would want it to be um, not toxic because it's already yep. starting to become that. And yep. um, it's kind of shitty that in a grown ass man who's 30 years old and who is, has capabilities of making all these babies why are you not thinking ahead like hey my my seven-year-old that I have already this is how I've been her father this is how she might take the news of adding another child yeah you didn't stop for a yep. second to think how she was going to take that yep like including you means including her right and the fact of the matter is which you fought so hard to help him to see on the show was that you all created a family, so no matter what, whether you're together or not together, you're family. <laughs> and so to tell you when the family is growing, like what? Not just have it be on social media. You know, it's it's funny how like that's how, what my face does when you say family and you're referring to him because, you know, I, years ago, even on the show when you would have seen me, I don't think that you would see me react that way. You'd probably yeah. be like, you're damn right, you're damn right we are. It's my family, you know what I mean? This is my family and it exists of me, Aviana and Rain. And um, if he wants to be a part of that in any way, shape or form with them, then it's his job to, to find a way to do that, accommodate and adjust, not them. And it's to the point now where um, I do trust my oldest child to kind of lead her own relationship, even though she's seven years old. Yep. And when I found out about this news, I kind of, I don't know if this makes me different bad or wrong but it was I told my sister I'm like well you know it's kind of really not my problem it's it's my kid's problem and it's Michael's problem and I hate to say that but you know they my kid's sibling has nothing to do with me yep yep and I had I kind of just stopped there with it mm -hmm. I let her know obviously I'm the parent that's raising her I'm the parent that's emotionally connected to her I yep. know how to announce this sort of information not him he wouldn't know how to do it yeah. So I did my part there, but then after that, yeah. Did you tell the girl? Or are you waiting and gonna let Michael do that? I I told I told that I told Aviana. I didn't bother telling Rain. She's three, you right. know. She really bops around here like she runs the place and <laughs> all she cares about, you know. And um, you know, she'd probably just worry about another kid stealing her toys, to be honest. But Aviana, yeah, I told her right away because. I promise her as soon as I know something, you'll know something. Yeah. I want to build that trust with her. Um, I actually brought her chocolate cake in her bed and they sat down and I said, Hey, I want to talk to you. And she goes, Oh, I'm excited. I'm like, I love you. Like she loves our talks, but I'm like, it's not that type of talk. And yeah. I go, I have to tell you something. And she says, okay. I said, you know, you're about to have, you know, a baby brother or sister. And she, at first she goes, Oh, I hope it's a boy. I'm like, me too. You know, deep down I'm like me too, because as a parent, I'm like, it kind of separates them a little, you know, like, yeah. I already know where she's going to go with this. So like, if it, he has a boy, it may be exciting. She doesn't have a brother, like, let's hope. Yeah. And yeah. I can't believe I think like that, but it is. And she, but then that's real. And, I, and that's what I about you. That's real. And I will say to you in, in my role as supporting families around co-parenting, that's a normal, natural thing to say, because you're still in this protective mode. You know what I mean? About like, yeah. okay, well, Hopefully that'll be easier for them to digest. It's something right. new, it's not, you know. Yeah, not because whatever helps, and and that's where I was. And then came the bad stuff. Um, may, you know, maybe he's gonna love Maria's kid more because um, he loves Maria more than you, mom. You know, yeah. <laughs> it made me giggle. I'm not gonna lie, I giggled. Um, that has I go Aviana. That has nothing to do with it. Um, I was like, and your daddy still likes me. Like he, you know, as a person, like we don't hate yeah. each other. And I said, um, that has nothing to do with it. She says, well, I think he's trying to replace me. I said, okay. I said, you know, I'm listening to this and, you know, he, he'll forget about me and, and he'll spend more time on that baby. That's not fair and all these things. And then I had to kind of buckle down and be real with her mm. and say, now, come on, you know, it's not true. Yeah. Yep. You. Yep. Um, you'll always be his first baby. That'll never change. Yeah. And yeah, maybe this baby will distract daddy a little bit from you. It's possible. I said, but even if daddy was here living with us, you wouldn't enjoy it either. 
Mm-hmm. Because this mm-hmm. is your normal. Mommy, you, and Rain. That's your normal. And every time your dad's here after he visits, it's like you're good to go because that's what is your normal. Yeah. So yep. remember that. Yeah. You're right. I love it. We just, I just read a comment. I don't know who it was. The name went by too fast, but they said, Michael is a man child. <laughs> so adding another child means nothing. Um, we've got so much love. I love seeing this because people are like, Sarah, I love you. I love you. Miss you on season two. Um, I have gotten a question here. I don't know. It's up to you if you want to answer it or not, because they could tune into our interview. But people, of course, are like, are you divorced? No. Okay. Yeah. Roll my eyes, too, when people say COVID. But COVID did set court back quite a bit. You have two children under the age of 18 in a marriage. It is so goddamn hard to get that settled, especially when the father of your kids is Michael Simmons. Okay? First of all, you don't know where he's living. You don't know what state he's in, where he is how to get him any sort of information and then you have him having a problem well i want 50 i mean you saw it on the show Mm -hmm. he just was not getting it he just was not getting it he wasn't up oh my god so eventually um last march um family court was finished and the judge awarded me full custody of the kids and it was like i won the lottery it was a great day you know after testifying on the stand about your kids Nothing pisses you off more than that. Nothing pisses you off more than that. Yep, are you yep. kidding? Me? Are you kidding me? Like this? Who are you? Who with this judge? I mean, all due respect. Like you got your career, and I hey support respect. But yep. who the <laughs> fuck are you to tell me <laughs> where the fuck my know. kids are about to live? Yep. yep, and that's what people don't get about the whole. That's partly why I do the work that I do around co-parenting. It's about defining your family before the courts do. Because the judges do not care. They do not care. It's like you're just another name, another family moving through. Yeah. And when, you know, they they come through. You know, the court is not designed for families. It's not. Right. You know, yeah. I had to get to the point where, like, I had to chill out and be like, (laughs) one thing I am confident in is my parenting. Okay, no one can tell me shit. And I have to be realistic you know when you want to ask me questions and you want to dig into where i live at and yeah it's gonna not gonna tidy it up i live here i got some kids here you know and you know do i do i drink i sure do have a glass of wine in my bubble bath that night nobody might bother me like you know like i'm mom and they saw that and awarding me full custody and guess what nothing changed i don't even think michael knows probably does now whoops but nothing changed what i've been trying Proof to him giving me full custody wouldn't change anything and so now I go t- through the divorce but I'm not spending 10 grand to divorce him and I sure as hell I'm not going to get blood out of a stone from that man because shit he hasn't even spent a penny on the kids you know yeah so yeah. I had to do it and divorce myself and I'll tell you what has anyone seen that packet wow because it is not easy it's not quick it's but- not it's and then getting him served again when I don't know where he is or where he lives. I mean, it's yep. it's aggravating. Yep. When you don't know where a person is located, also when you're trying to complete uh, paperwork for divorce and you have children and you have to, you know, figure out how to divide a parenting time, although you have legal custody, you still in a divorce, you know, the divorce paperwork have to figure out how much time would they get to be around him. If you're not able to communicate with him about that kind of stuff, it is a hard ass thing to do. And people mm-hmm. can say, why hasn't happened yet? Why, why, why? So that's another thing about why I love to bring kind of some expertise to the conversation around COVID set court back major. We created yeah. a whole co- we created a whole supervised parenting time program because there were parents that couldn't see their children because court was backlogged. So that is a reality, uh, absolute reality. Another thing people don't really know, I think, is that Maria is also married, right? I think so. I okay. think so. I think Maria still might be married. Um, yeah. I'm very unsure, but I know she has two children. He has two children. Okay. And if she is still married and he's still married, no right. sense. Oh, <laughs> together. Oh, like, together, they need to just be like, let's join forces and make this yeah. happen. 
or like I like can like I wish Maria could join forces with me and get this divorce done. Like I I hope so, you know. Um, but for me, you know, a lot of people say, why won't he just divorce me and things like that? And you know, some may get the wrong idea, but it, I tell him all the time, Michael, it's not that you want me. I'm yeah. great. I know he knows that, and I know he probably has love for me, and I know he probably still feels like a little deep down he fucked it up somewhere. Sure, thank you, respect that. However, you don't want me. You just don't want to let go of that control you got. You mm -hmm. just don't want to let go of the control you have. And that is it. Like, let it go. Especially now that you have another child on the way. Yeah. Make some room. Make some room. Yeah. You know? That's, you know? That's, and I love, love, love that you said, can I join forces with Maria and get it done? Like, if I can't do it with Michael, and that's so big of you. You know what I mean? That you're like, if I can figure it out with her so that we can move to the next phase of whatever this is, like let's do it you know yeah. that would be my awesome. parent her you know and yeah. that was that was a hard pill to swallow as a mom is you know no no it's not because that's why i did it as a mom let me take that back it's a hard pill to swallow as a as a bitch like a yeah. woman like a good yeah. strong woman because <laughs> i'll tell you what you gotta yeah put your tail between your legs a lot when you want to be a good mom and yes. some have to choose so nine times out of ten, the kids, until it's like, all right, if I do this, then I'm not going to be a good mom. So, <laughs> you know, so yeah. I it, pride it is removed from mm -hmm. parenting. When you really are in it, like 110%, you're willing to do whatever it takes for your kids. Your pride is stripped from you. There are so many things that I remember doing that I look back on and, and it was so hard to do. I remember yeah. dropping my son off at his at his dad's girlfriend's house and it was a girl that he had cheated on me with right so that was hard as hell to to get myself you know up to do that right so again pride out the door you know because I was doing what I felt like I needed to do to you know make sure that their relationship remained intact and that I had a break too you know for me it was I just I got to always kind of be cool with it or play along because the last thing I want my kid to feel is like they're doing something wrong or yeah. they're doing yeah. my And I caught on to a little bit of that. The older my Aviana got, I'm like, oh, I think she's starting to feel like if daddy brings her around somebody I don't know about, she's doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. So I hated that. I don't want my kids uncomfortable or scared. It pisses me off. Like, go ahead and like break a toe. But yeah. I don't like my kids scared or uncomfortable. Yeah, and I had to realize, listen, okay, so I just, listen, I trust your dad, your dad gives me heads up, you know, and so totally here, I'll, hey, what's up, girl? Uh, oh, yeah, I knew about that. You know, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Right. Or feel like she's not lying to me or doing something bad. Yeah, good for you. Because I mean, again, like we just said, when that pride, right, or when you do mm -hmm. things to for your children because you're putting them first and that's what makes it hard for a lot of people to be able to co-parent when they're putting their kids in the middle or they're putting their own needs first you well, know so it's like it's hard to it is hard to separate yeah i wish more people said that i wish more people gave um us a little bit of you know a break during that time of trying to separate the romantic yeah. relationship into just being co-parents because it's not that we can't do it and it's not that it's um impossible or anything it feels it 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 feels it it's so confusing it's so yeah. confusing <laughs> to sit there and then sometimes it's like when you're trying to convince him that it's about the kids am i trying to convince myself that it's about the kids and there was some times i think yeah i think i was trying to convince myself and i look back i'm like yeah it wasn't great but i learned yeah it should man got it because you know that's the shit we saw right yeah oh my god like well like, it, it, i was trying to tell convince myself it's about them but what it really was about was i could not get over how the fuck you're gonna disrespect me sarah and leave me sarah and i'm not you know, the, this quote, <laughs> sarah. and i'm gonna keep saying sarah because yeah. i wasn't just your fucking wife and i wasn't just the fucking mother of your kids even though that shit hold weight i yeah. was a person that we basically grew up together i thought we we were here you know yeah. You don't have to be married to me, but you're going to leave me here with two kids by myself? Yeah, yeah. You're that much of a piece of shit. And then it's sad that they become somebody you never thought they were. And then you just feel defeated. Yeah. And you so know what? 
I will say too, for, um, although I don't know Michael, I can't speak for him, but from me seeing how other men have dealt with things, when there's so much shame and guilt based on the things that they've already done, even mm -hmm. if you're like, I, this is how I want to fix it. I want to do better. You buried yourself so deep in the hole that you don't even know how to get out or can you ever get out. And so now it's just shame. And um, I'm not trying to save face, I just should just go ahead and be who I am and what they expect of me. It's that. And um, like, I think a little bit of it's hard to let go of that control. And I think that... Mm -hmm. um, it's gonna, and I try to tell him it's, it's okay. And I think he has, and I think I have. I mean, it's to the point now where we really don't talk, you yeah. know. Um, when we do, it's a, it's it's very simple communication, and it's just about the kids. And honestly, if he were to come around, I could probably, you know, grab a drink with the dude and you know shoot the shit and be like, hey, what's up, and have a couple laughs, and that be that. Yeah. I don't. I'm indifferent. I'm I'm like where like um, you don't piss me off. You don't make me happy. Like you you don't. <laughs> You you don't like I don't know like I right. love, but like from way over here, you know. Yep, yep. Like love, yeah, maybe yeah. <laughs> you gave me some gifts, I guess. Yeah. So like, and you know, congratulations too on the baby for awesome. real. I in a really fucked up way. Hope you get it right this time. I guess. Yep. Um, yep. And enough people have been hurt. Um. It's just my kids are gonna be fine. Yep. Uh, Absolutely. My kids are be fine. Mm -hmm. They haven't skipped a beat. Somebody just asked, and I think this is this is funny. Is Michael still rapping? <laughs> <laughs> we don't. Oh, probably. I mean, he. Okay. One thing about Michael is uh, rapping for him, like whether he's good or not. Like, I just yeah. know he's with words, and I've ever since I've known him. Um, he can sit down if he writes, and yeah. no one Michael can sit down ever. So I'm sure he still writes. It doesn't really go anywhere, but yeah, yeah, it, that is, th and that's good. Too. Like therapy, it's therapeutic. Yeah. Get out. Yeah, so, I think it is a little bit of his therapy, but then again, like I don't really know the guy anymore, you know. Yeah, so, freaking knows. <laughs> I just like it's not his day job. <laughs> yeah, so those are his job is just tuning in i'm seeing some of the questions and those of you who are just tuning in sarah and i are talking about the fact that we heard that maria is um having a baby and sarah has given her congratulations our recap is that no they are not divorced yet there's a lot of real life things that have happened that caused the divorce to not take place and one of those things is michael is not progressing <laughs> the situation either we got a white flag for Maria to join, like co-parent with us, Maria. Um, and 